We try every year at the Plein Air Convention to honor people who have made a huge difference in the world of plein air painting. And uh, it's, it's um, really our biggest honor to be able to, to really uh, point out these people and highlight them. Unfortunately, because the convention hasn't been going on, uh, we've been having a hard time doing the awards. We decided we were gonna do the award today for our Lifetime Achievement Award. Uh, someone who has had a huge impact on plein air painting, inspiring those of us who were painters, leading the way out there before anybody really was. And so please watch this video. Joanna Arnett had an idyllic childhood with the sweetest parents one can imagine, as well as two wonderful sisters who are still her best friends. As a quiet child, she preferred reading and drawing over anything else, and has identified herself as an artist for as long as she can remember. While still in grade school, Joanna's father, a builder, taught her linear perspective. Together they would sit on the floor and draw buildings in two and three point perspective a technique she has now taught others for decades. After getting what she calls a fairly useless bachelor's in fine arts in Dallas, Joanna realized she had no idea how to make a living as a fine artist, but she could see herself becoming an advertising art director based on the skills she'd learned. Eventually, she felt a desire to make commercials, which meant moving to New York. She landed a job at Young and Rubicam, which at the time was the largest advertising agency in the world. There she worked on accounts such as Merrill Lynch and People Magazine. Walking home one evening, Joanna passed the Art Students League and, on impulse, ventured in. Upon smelling the linseed and turpentine, she knew she was at home. She began attending drawing classes whenever possible, and though her results left much to be desired, she found the learning process to be wonderful, and she was ready to become a professional fine artist. When Joanna resigned from her job at Young and Rubicam, her creative director said, You have a job everybody wants. We will pay for your therapy. Instead of therapy, she took a leave of absence, went to Italy, tried to talk herself out of quitting, only to return to New York and resign again. Joanna continued her studies at the Art Students League for four more years, learning from artists such as Robert Beverly Hale, David LaFell, and Robert Mayone. Joanne later moved to Santa Fe, where she met her soulmate, fellow artist and traveler James Asher. Jim and Joanna married and then honeymooned in Kashmir for a month, setting the stage for a lifetime of traveling and painting together. Joanna began having opportunities, ranging from publishing a collection of her still life paintings with Northlight Books to teaching plein air workshops all over the world. She says, if there's a passport in art, I think it must be painting in plein air. You're in business anywhere you can put your easel. Some of her career highlights include doing the Artists of America show in Denver for 11 years, the Prix de West for 14 years, and being represented by the Zaplin Lampert Gallery in Santa Fe for three decades. She also participated in In Plain Air Masters in France with Kevin McPherson and appeared with Jim in the PBS series Passport and Palette. Joanna says that teaching so many workshops over the decades has made her a better artist. She tells us, Explaining a principle brings you an even deeper understanding, and I've made cherished friends all over the country. I add these friendships to my lifetime achievements. When it comes to the adventures of being an artist, she says, we just have to be ready to make the jump, accept the challenge, and enjoy the journey. Please join us in celebrating Joanna as we present her with our highest honor, the Plain Air Magazine Lifetime Achievement Award.
Well, on your feet, a standing ovation for Jonah Anna Arnett. We're, all right. We are pleased to have Joanna here with us from her studio in Santa Fe, which is one of the most beautiful studios I've ever been in. And Joanna, you're one of the most beautiful people I've ever met. So tell us what are your thoughts about this award? When I first heard uh, the news, um, Eric and I, we laughed and then we cried and we laughed. And I had an entire year after we didn't have the Denver Convention to think about what this meant. And my first thought was the artists that have gone before me, those are very, very big shoes to fill. And no way did I consider myself uh, in that category because uh, there have been amazing recipients of this award before. And uh, they're my heroes and the work is astounding. But I started thinking about it's the Lifetime Achievement Award. It's, a, it's more than an, about painting. It's more than about subject matter. It's about a life. And looking back and gathering the, the materials for the, the lovely movie that you just saw, it made me realize that I have had quite a lifetime and, and, and so many wonderful things and wonderful people. And um, yes, I began teaching. Uh, I began teaching before the internet. I began teaching before Facebook, before Instagram. So a lot of my students these days are like, oh, I found you on Facebook. And I'm like, no, I was here way before <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> and, so, and, it, and it's been wonderful. It's, it has been a passport to uh, being all over the world. Jim and I have been amazing travelers. We found out on our first date that we both loved traveling and it made for a very interesting lifetime. It made for friends all over the world, but stu students all over the world that that I love then and that I love now. So it's an amazing group of people that I've had the privilege to be with and to teach. Um, pretty much any place in the world that you can set up an easel, you're in business. And that's been just wonderful. So I am just beyond delighted. Um, it, it made me review a, a life that's been a very lucky life with lots of hard work but lots and lots of love. Jim and I have had the most wonderful, wonderful time. Um, I lost Jim to esophageal cancer three years ago. So I knew a lot about cancer. Uh, and then, then one November, I was diagnosed with a very rare cancer, but it didn't scare me because I know pretty much everything about it. And I'm, I'm not sad. I, um, I look back at a lifetime of, much, of achievement and a lifetime of happiness and a lifetime of joy. And this moment to get an award honoring that lifetime is very, very special. And I thank everyone who has made it so much joy. And I thank Plain Air Magazine and every precious soul there for such an honor. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Joanna, just one last thing. Um, we've got a, a couple thousand people watching you right now and uh, maybe more. And we would just love to have your best advice for those of us who are watching. Any advice? Well, I, actually, it, it, there's so much. And having, having been a teacher, I've been asked this question a lot of times. Um, we have a lot of people watching who have uh, tremendous experience, but we've got lots of people watching who may be starting out or they're at a middle level and, and don't have a lot of experience. So my very best advice is just go do it. Don't, don't be afraid. Don't think you have to be good the very first day, especially the very first day in plein air painting, because initially it's quite awkward. It's much more pleasant to sit in a nice, quiet studio. But get out there and do it. Just do it. That's, it's so simple. And just do painting after painting after painting. And you're going to find yourself that the, the more you move that brush around, the less intimidated you are by the environment and the better you get. So don't be afraid. Uh, don't think that the verse paintings are going to be miraculous. They're not. I mean, I'm very happy with a 50% success rate when I go out there. <laughs> but the thing is, I'm trying. I'm doing it. So my very best advice, don't be intimidated. Don't let anyone intimidate you and just do it. Get out there and do it. Do it. Yeah. Well, Joanne, I love you. Congratulations. And uh, uh, everybody is standing and applauding right now. So thank you so much. <laughs> You are, you are an inspiration to us all. So thank you. God bless you and thank you. And uh, we'll talk soon. Will do. Thank you so much.
All right, what a special moment from Joanna Arnett. Oh, wow, I've got tears in my eyes.